What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFakes.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate, and we are going to be creating this. Got our mouse over, and whenever we mouse over, it has this really cool animation that slides through. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then we have our button, which we click on, and it shows a different text. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. And let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and jump down to Lessons and CC. And we're going to save this as Lesson 10. Okay. Let's go ahead and add in our button right here into the middle. We're going to drag this over to here. We're going to change its color to black. We're going to add in some text. My button. Go ahead and click OK there. Let's this up a little bit more. Let's change the color to white. Let's go ahead and set it in the center. Okay, so now let's duplicate our text twice. And this right here is going to be my button. This is going to be click me. And this is going to be show me. So now let's go ahead and choose the click me and change its name to click me. And then Let's choose the show me. Let's change it to you clicked on me. Okay, let's go ahead and drag this out so that all the text will fit and then drag it to the center so that everything looks uniform. So now let's go ahead and show all of these. And then we're going to drag this out to our, let's drag it out to about right here for our My button. We're going to choose it as Off so that My button is going to show all the way to Off. And then once it gets here, it is going to disappear. So then our Click Me is going to show. So we're going to do on for it. So it's going to be off all the way up to here. Then we're going to come over here to about here. And then we're going to choose our show me. And then we're going to set it to on. Okay, so now show me is going to be on. And then we need to come back to here and change click me to off. Okay, now show me you click me is here. Click me is here and show me is here. So, that's what we got. So, that's with all of our buttons. So, now let's come over here to the beginning right here and we're going to create a label. And this label is going to be move ray we're going to drag this out to about right here and we're going to create a new label this is going to be static then we're going to come to the end of static and we're going to create a stop we're going to come to the end of our move ray which would be right here and we're going to create another stop and then we're going to come right here we're going to create a new label Clicked me. Actually, let's change that to button click. Okay, so now we have all of our labels done. So let's go ahead and let's add in our animation, which is going to be for our rectangle here. And we want to change it with to 31 and its height 
Uh, 60 looks good. From over here, we're going to change this to minus 19. It's going to give it that sideways look. We're going to change its color here a little bit gray. And then over here, we're going to change this to 37. We want it to be able to see through it. Okay, so now double click here. Well, actually, let's change that. We want to actually move this off to the side. So let's go ahead and move it over here. Okay, now let's double click. Drag this all the way out to about here. Let's move this stop to about here. And move this to there. Okay, so now what we want to do is that we want to take our rectangle, which is going to be our ray. And then we want to slide it over. It'll pop up and grab a hold of this and bring it all the way over to the end. Okay. Now, let's come over here. Let's bring it on to there. Create a keyframe. Drag it off to the side. About right here. And let's set it to zero. Let's come over here. Create a keyframe. Drag this back just a little bit. And then move this forward just a little bit more and set it to zero. So whenever we do our mouse over, it's going to show our ray going through like so. So now let's come over to about up in here. Let's create another ray. And we want to set its dimensions for its width to a 7, minus 19. And then come over here and change this to 37. Alrighty, now let's drag off over here to the side. Let's double click. And then let's drag this out to about right up in here. Looks good. And now we want to move this over all the way across to here. Double click, come back to about here, create a keyframe, drag this out to about up in here, and then set this to zero. Over here to the edge. Create a new keyframe. Just lay that there and then drag this off to the side. And set this to zero. Okay, so now let's duplicate this one. Actually, let's change this one to ray underscore one. And then let's duplicate it. And this one right here is going to be ray underscore two. We're going to do here is that we're just going to drag this over just a little bit so that it has some distance. And then we're going to move this over so that it will try to come to the other one. So basically, it's going to be like so. So let's go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. I can actually go in and move this out just a little bit more. We don't want it to be too close. So let's grab a hold of this and let's move it in. Back off right there. Okay, so now we've got something like this right here. And then we got our button click right there. So let's go ahead and save all this. And then let's come over and we want to add a new um, button. And what this button is going to do is that this right here is going to hide everything underneath here. So let's go ahead and add that in. 
let's change this to zero because we want to be able to see it and this right here is going to be called our button cover and this right here is going to be our button okay now with our button cover this is what we're going to do all of our actions at so let's go ahead and click on our well the reason why we've got this here is that if we did not have a cover over all of the elements if you set all of the actions under our button and you run your mouse over any part of this while the animation is going then it would sit there and it would do a continuous loop because you've got this animation that's flowing in front of you so having this button cover over everything you hide everything up underneath it and then you make it to where you can add in all of your actions on this t very top layer so that it does not affect anything up underneath it let's go ahead and jump into it and we want to do our mouse over and what we want to do here is we want to do our move ray so let's come over here play from move ray and then we don't want to ha, try that again then we want to do our mouse out and our mouse out is going to be our static so we're going to do a play from static and let's change that to a capital S make sure that everything looks the same if you got capitals it has to be capital if you got lowercase it has to be lowercase so then we're going to do a click and that's going to be right here our button click and we're going to do a play from button click so now whenever we run it we do our mouse over and it has our animation and uh, we've got something going on here so we need to okay we need to put that stop right there at the end of the animation that way it will stop and it will not lose our text we don't want it to lose our text that is basically it and I hope that y'all learned something from this and I hope it wasn't too boring it just my computer for some reason is getting very sluggish i just ordered some new memory for it so i'm getting ready to upgrade the memory but also uh, i would give a shout out to the person that inspired this lesson however he chose to not be named so uh, i do respect that he knows who i'm talking about he's got a really cool name and so but anyway this is wayne barrel darkfakes.net and i hope this helps you out here with adobe edge animate cc y'all have a good one now bye bye